Hey guys, welcome back. It's PNW Bettis here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I made these tank dividers for my new divided betta tank. This is going to be a 20 gallon long divided into three sections. I started by getting three of these PVC foam boards off of Amazon, and they were around $17. A 20 gallon long tank is close to 12 by 12, which is what these PVC foam boards were, although I'm going to have to do a little bit of cutting as you can see it was too tall and also too wide for this tank. To get the foam board fitted for the tank, I started by making it fit underneath the rim and so I actually put that board up next to the rim and I measured where I would need to cut it to make it fit. I then went over with my X-Acto knife under a piece of cardboard and I started cutting out the section that I measured to get it to fit underneath the rim. For this I just used an X-Acto knife but I actually found that it was quite tricky to push all the way through the PVC with this tool. I think a box cutter would be a little bit easier because you can get a better grip on it and apply more pressure. But if all you have is an X-Acto knife it does work, it just takes a couple passes to be able to cut all the way through the board. After a few passes with the X-Acto knife, I was able to break that little excess piece off. I'm sorry this clip isn't the best, but this is where I went and tried to fit it back into the tank to determine if it was going to fit from the length to the width, but at this point I was able to determine that it did fit underneath the rim snugly, which is what you want. But the board was a little bit too wide to fit in the tank straight, so I did have to do a little bit more cutting. For this I couldn't really measure, so I just started with very small pieces and I just took a little bit off the side. This was the same process as the first one I did, I just had to do multiple passes with the X-Acto knife to cut through the board and then eventually kind of break that piece off the side. The other thing I did was actually cut the corners off and I ended up actually rounding these out as well with a little bit of sandpaper, but this is to kind of fit in the places where the silicone is at the bottom of the tank. Because that silicone is a little bit raised, you kind of have to compensate that by cutting off these corners. And this is what it looked like after I got the first one into the tank. Um, it fit really snugly and it felt really secure and so I was really happy with it. I did end up also sanding down the sides that I cut just to make them smooth and then rinsing off the board. You then just repeat the process and I made another divider. The pack from Amazon did come with three, so you could choose to make another divider and you'd still have five gallon sections for your betta fish, but I chose to only do two because I felt like the sections were a better size if there were only three of them. I'm somebody who's totally fine with putting betta fish in five gallon tanks, I just felt like decorating them was very hard if they were that small, so I chose to do just three. And next we're actually going to silicone these dividers in place to create closed systems so none of the water between the fish is shared. This is also just going to help keep the dividers in place. I chose to use Aquion brand clear aquarium silicone, but you can use other types of silicone that you can buy at a hardware store, you just want to make sure it's something that's going to be aquarium safe. You could also tape it to get a cleaner line of silicone, but I just felt like winging it at this point in time. Um, but you just want to make sure you get a thick enough line that it's going to fill any gaps between the tank and the divider. I'm not going to lie, this was hard to do with one hand. I have used tank dividers that allow water flow and I did really like them. It was very easy to heat the tank with only one or two heaters. But I really wanted to switch to closed systems just to prevent the spread of any diseases and just any sort of risk like that. So to make the sections watertight, I went around with the silicone on all sides, but also on both sides of the dividers. One other thing to note about the silicone is it does have a very strong smell, so I would recommend doing this in a better ventilated area than I did. But here is what it looked like after I had siliconed the dividers into place. I waited 48 hours before testing the water hold, and then I started to get this tank ready. As of right now, I only really have the substrate and a few little pieces of hardscape stuck into the tank, so it's by no means finished, but it is something that I'm working on currently. When I do finish setting this tank up, because the sections are completely separate in terms of water, I am going to have to use a separate filter and heater for each section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this helps with you guys making your own tank dividers for betta fish. I will link all the materials I used to make these in the description below. Let me know if you guys try these out.